If you're careful about how you build your sliders, they can be really powerful for your website. Showcase loads of images, text, videos, whatever you want, without overloading your homepage or any other part of your website. Now, have you come across the Picta? Sorry, I made it sound like everyone should know about it. I only found about this recently and I've been blown away. This is a slider tool that is integrates into your WordPress and allows you to create amazing slides. Let me just show you what this does. I'm gonna go down to templates and I'm gonna pick one of the ones here that really caught my eye. This one here, okay, and when this loads up, this is a slider we're looking at. Apologies for the fact that my face is all over it. So let me just move myself out the way. Let me just go over here, okay? It's great. Now watch what happens when I go to slide two. Look how awesome that is in slide three. It doesn't have to be videos, by the way. You can have images, but this is really, really nice in the way it looks. Of course, there's lots of other tools and software and plugins you can use to create sliders, but I am really loving this. It is a free plugin, and I am sure there will be a premium version of this one day with extra features, but what you get out of this right now for free is amazing. So I've gone over to our website over here and I've gone and downloaded it. Basically, you can't miss it. It's a green button over here or the yellowy button. Download it for free. And then down in your WordPress sidebar, you'll see Depictor. We're going to go into that. And what it does is opens up a whole new interface. And it basically says, do you want to import a slider? So maybe there's one being created by someone else or whatever, and you've purchased it and you can use it. Now, if you wanted to use one of the sliders from the template here, don't click one of these and start looking for how do you download it. That's not how you do it. It's really cool what this depictor does. Over here, you go create slider and look at that. You can either create from brand new or you can pick from one of these options over here. Now I am just for the sake of this tutorial gonna use one of their pre-built and then I'll show you some of the features for how you can build your own. So I'm gonna go into this uh, adventure one here at the moment. I should have hit import by the way, sorry. Let me hit import. You can modify this for the tablet and the mobile as well. Right, so we've got this here. I'm not going to do any changes to it yet. I'm just going to publish this, publish the changes, and I am then going to pick up this short code here. You see that short code? That's what you're going to go. Sorry, let me get my finger right. That short code there is what you're going to stick into your website. Whether you're using Gutenberg, Elemental, whatever you're using, it is a short code. Okay, let's now go back into our website. So I'm gonna to go to one of my pages over here. Okay, so this is pretty simple and easy to do no matter what page builder solution you're using. Let's drop that in and I'm then gonna drop in the code. Basically the short code that we had for that particular template. When I go down, look at that. I mean, I mean, this is just <laughs> amazing. I, I really love the effects. I really love the effects. Now, is this going to cause a drain on your page speed insight? Of course, if you overload sliders, of course it will. So don't overdo it. Think about your video sizes. Think about how they're being loaded in. Think about your images, WebP, compressed convert, and all of that. Make sure you've, you've modified it for your mobile as well. But I think this is an amazing, amazing solution. Let's go back over to Depictor. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new slider. We're not going to use any of the ones that are pre-built. Of course, you can do. Any that were pre-built, you can go in and start modifying bits of it. We're just going to create a new one and you get a pretty nice interface. So I'm going to call this one Slider Web Squadron. Wow, what a stupid name, right? Why call it that? Anyway, we'll go with that. What is the width? Well, I'm going to go with, well, okay. Now, you could put in 1920. Bear in mind, though, not all monitors are 1920. 1,200, I think, is actually reasonable. I'm going to click Create Slider, and there we go. You do get loads of stock photos as well. You can use your own. You know, you can upload items as well, but you do get access to lots of stock photos. So if I go in here and I search for, just typed in digital, I'm just going to take that image, and it will now load it through. Because it is pulling through stock images, it might take two to three seconds, but after that, it's pretty quick. And I'm just going to enlarge this image and kind of just fit it in to be, I don't know, something like that. That's looking okay at the moment. If I move the image here, you'll notice the value over here change and the same with the Y one as well. So you can either move it manually with your hand or your mouse or your finger, or you can do it using the values you have over here. You can also change the opacity if you so want. 
And, you know, there's lots of tools. I mean, I'm not going through every single one here, right? You know, there are some other filters as well. Let me just close that. Let me close that down. Uh, maybe you've added in an image and you want to give it a border radius. So I've typed in 250 there for the corner radius and you get the idea. You'd obviously have to put in a background color on the screen. Let me just undo that because I really don't want to have anything in there. So let me just put that back to zero. I accidentally clicked something wrong and then I quickly undid it. But there are options down here. Now, here's something you may want to just be aware of, okay? You do have options. Over, sorry, the options one is if you want to start adding in any custom CSS styling. You can also have a hover effect. And maybe if I say hover and then I want the opacity to change, but that will only happen when you hover over it. And then you have the animation for the entrance, so sliding from the left and right and things like that. Um, you also have an action as well. So when you click on this, is it going to go to a URL or is it you have to click on a title or a call to action button or something? Now, I do want to make a point, though. It does say here set as slide background. This is slide one. Over here, it only has slide one at the moment. OK, so we go back to general for this. If I set this as slide background, which is what it has done. This is something I, I'm hoping someone in the comments can clarify if they know why. But if I now click on here, all I can really do now is just kind of decide on, well, what's the layout for the image cover, you know, contain and all of that. Um, am I going to add in a background overlay or anything like that? What I have found is that if I go to advanced, if I go to data sources, I don't seem to have the option unless I am missing it and I'm being really silly because I just can't see it to modify that background image. So if I right click on it, I can remove the slide, I can remove the background, but I'm the everything I've just set before with the layout and where it's sat, I just don't have that option, which I have to be honest, felt a little bit odd and I feel like I'm missing something. So if I have, I'm really, really sorry. Someone please point it out in the comments below. I can now click here and go, right, let's add in a heading text. Um, and I'm going to drag this down here. And then you go through the motion of setting in your size. So I've just typed in 100 and it goes bigger. Bear in mind, though, if I type in 60, it's not until I hit return that it did it, which isn't a problem. I would have liked it if it just did it instantly, but I kind of get why not. I'm just going to go over here and give this a white text like that. Uh, sorry, I clicked off it. Let's go back over here. And you can decide on your weighting as well. So, you know, extra bold. I mean, for, let's make this really big now. Let's just be a bit stupid there. Anyway, why did I do that? Put it back. Go with something like that, 100, something like that. So you can be quite crafty with that. You do have like these lovely pre-built areas as well. I mean, this is, this is really quite nice. Okay. I mean, look at this, right? Uh, let's left align it. Let's left align uh, the bit at the bottom as well. I could click this one as well, you know, over here. And I mean, obviously you're going to change your colors and everything you do in it, but Giving you options like that can speed up your process because you might go, yeah, okay, we're going to go for that style. I mean, every slide, let me just get rid of that, 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 get rid of that. You might start going for something like this. You've got videos you can bring in as well. I mean, let me just type in uh, digital just to see what we get. It's all stock videos and imagery. And I, 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 I mean, look, I'm not going to use this, okay? I'm just, I'm just showing it to you for what it does, but... I think this is really good, okay, in terms of building on the fly on WordPress rather than going to other bits of kit and stuff like that. Then, of course, you've got shapes and vectors you can bring in. And don't forget, if I was to bring in like a circle like that, and obviously you color it and style it and uh, anything you want, and obviously you can be very uh, systematic about your height and your width over here, you could have an animation. So you go animation in, you know, I don't know, uh, fade in, for instance. And add in a button. Like I said, you would stylize the button accordingly, your font size, all of that. Over here to action, it says go to URL. You do have options here like hiding stuff and whatever as well, which I haven't explored all of them yet. But if you go to URL and the trigger is click add action, you click edit and then you would put in your URL here. And then obviously it's going to go there and you can say open in new tab or stuff like that. What I want to get across over here, though, is that when you do open this, you can, if you want, just create a completely brand new slide. Or what you could do is click on here and say duplicate slide. So if we now go to slide two, what if you now want to just change the text? So you've sorted out your layout. 
You've sorted out your images that come in and your text that come in. You've said that this text over here fades in or fades out. In fact, when even if you do something like a rotate in like that, you can decide on how it is. You can add in a delay as well that you can see down here. So I might say, right, delay it by one second. 1,000 milliseconds is one second, okay? Um, you know, how long does it take to roll in all of that? You can even preview the animation. But then it might be that you don't like the image for slide two. Now, here's, here's the thing, the point I was making. If I go over here and I click on the background, okay, sorry, if I click on the background, I can't shift it around or even pick a different image. All you got to do is right click it, uh, remove the background. Uh, let's now just go in and type in cat. Don't know what we're going to get. Let's just add this cat in, okay? When you've got your animation sorted and all of that, and you've done your layout and spent a lot more time, obviously, I would probably say before you move on to slide two, you will want to go in and go, well, how does it look on the uh, tablet? And how does it look on the mobile? Now, this is ultra, ultra wide. So if I go over to options over here and I go down to uh, general, you do have an option over here to say what is your content width. I'm just going to set it to 378. That being said, even though I've done all of that, when I do go to mobile, it is quite wide, I have to say. It is, it is quite wide. However, I can do this to shrink it. I'm not too sure why this isn't setting it to be 378 when I view it, because that is not 378. I can tell you now, that is not 378. Let me tell you now. Okay, so um, I would have liked that to work, but then again, it might just be something that is going to be improved on, or maybe I've not clicked on something perfectly well. If you do ever have like three, four, five slides, you can just click down here and you'll see all your slides appear at the bottom. I'm sorry, by the way, if my face is covering anything at the moment. I just, you know, I love to show my face. That's just where I am. You even have controls. So, you know, you could say, right, okay, we're going to add in a control like this one here. This is not sized up very well, but if I was to put, say, this button over here, right? And then I go to, well, you have options, obviously, you have hover, you have the animation for how it appears, but then you have the action. So you might then say, um, go to slide. I go like that and I say, um, add action. Oops, sorry, wrong one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go to slide, edit. This is now going to go to the next slide. I didn't have to type it in or it will go to the previous slide or it might go to a particular slide. So this slide here at the moment, okay, does not have a network. It's called slide one, right? And this is slide two. Let's now just uh, let us duplicate slide uh, two. So we've got slide three, okay? I'm going to go over to slide three and I'm going to call it uh, offer at the top there, right? If we now go back over to slide one, let's say you've got, um, you've got slide, you've got buttons that go left and right, previous and next, right? Your previous and next, that's what's going to work. But then pretend you've got another button or another action or something, whatever you want to use. You've got loads of ones here to pick from. I'm going to say that this will go to... Uh, this will go to slide name and I'm going to pick offer. Can you see it? I don't have to type it. So I'm pointing in the wrong direction. I don't have to type it. It's right there. You click offer, right? Is there going to be a delay? No, there won't be a delay. Let's now preview. When I click that, it kind of whooshes past them and goes to the offer one. Does that make sense? So if you're telling a story now and you've got, say, six slides and the last one has the offer, you could have like jump to offer. Or you go through methodically, hey, have you got a problem and no one else can help? Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters is slide four, but you could jump straight to Ghostbusters and get the phone number and call them in and sort out your slime problem, right? And once you've published it and saved it, so let's just publish again, right? Let me now just click on, well, I'm just going to click on WordPress. There we go. And if I now decide I want to show this on my website, well, I could just go over here to edit if I so want. I can hit publish get the code like that, go back over to my website, right? So we got, we got a slider down here, which is beautiful. I mean, look at how it's built. Here's what I really like though. You could take one of their templates and just modify the images and modify the text. You don't have to start from scratch and they have got a lot of options here. It's not expansive, but they've got a fair amount here and you are easily going to find something here that you like. For sure, I'm telling you, you are going to find something you like. Just look at this one here. Stay with me. I know you want to run away, but just look at this one here, right? Watch it. Let it load up. 
right? Just look at that and watch the images as they come in. Did you see that, the transition of a cube effect? What is going on there? But once you've done this properly, look, if I click this, it's going to go all the way to the offer one, right? Look, which had that ridiculous animation I went and put on. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I don't know why I did it. But I think Depictor is a free plugin and completely changes the way you could do sliders. Yes, there are other tools. Yes, there's other bits of kit. Some of them you got to pay for. But what you get here for free <sighs> lets me be free. I don't know. My name's Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring.